Hey everyone, it's James from the Fit RV, and I brought Lance around to the shop today and kind of turned him sideways because we're going to be working on a screen door project. We're going to be installing what I think is probably the most ingenious RV screen door I've seen. Let's head into the shop and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, our RV already has a screen door, and it works okay, but we've had a number of problems with it over the years. It's, it's a rigid door, and it runs on a track, and sometimes it sticks. You have to grab it in just the right place, and the biggest problem is that if you forget, and the screen door is closed, and you close your slider door, you've wrecked things big time. So, recently we were at an RV show, and we saw a screen door, and you can find these by going to rvcustomscreen.com, and this was on a pleasure way. And the screen door was this just ingenious lateral magnetic flap system that rolls up its soft material so it won't get damaged if it gets stuck in the door. A number of benefits to it. And we saw it and we tried to order one, but they didn't make one for the Travato. See, they made screen doors for the ProMaster that opened in the front, and we've got this here, so we needed one that opened in the back. So I actually contacted the company. They're out of French Canada. And they agreed to make one for a Travato. They have sent it, and they're actually coming here today to install it. Now, this is the first one they've ever tried to install on a Travato, so we may have to redo it like four or five times. But uh, we're just gonna have Steph film it throughout the day as we install this, and we'll just see how it goes. I'm excited about it, hope you are too. Let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna get started by removing the old screen door and cleaning up around there because there's some Velcro that we need to stick on there, so that's the first step. So we had to disassemble quite a bit in order to remove the old screen door, but we've got it done. It involved removing some trim panels. I should insulate up there while we've got that off. Basket, the rubber. This here. Here we are working a Velcro seal alongside the gasket. Maybe even a little bit underneath the gasket. Okay, once the Velcro is up, we're just uh, Velcroing the curtain in place. Yeah, and after screw, put some screw to, to fix and it doesn't move. This is a much easier install than I thought. And we're done. Apart from tacking up a little bit of Velcro, the install was pretty easy. They just more or less Velcroed it in place and it's a one piece deal. So let me show you. Voila, notice the door can be closed without damaging the screen. That's the main thing because I can't tell you how many times I did that on accident. Next, to get in, this is the brilliant part. You just pull this, walk in, and it's a magnetic closure. It closes itself. To get out, you just push through. And to store it for travel, you just uh, unzip both sides here. Then from here inside the van, we just roll this up. And then to secure it for travel, we just use these uh, handy Velcro straps that are here. And we're ready to go. Now this not being a screen door is not going to rattle while we drive or anything like that. But the cool thing about this is that when you get to where you're going and you're ready to set up camp, just unhook the straps the Velcro back here. Boom. And that's pretty much all there is to setting up and taking down the screen. I love it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be going in and out the rest of the day, so I'll catch you guys later. Nice. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Okay, now this part is a total bonus. I didn't even really know they were doing this. They had sort of mentioned it and then they showed up and here it is. We have a screen door for the back that works on pretty much the same principles as the one that we have on the side. You just, it's got magnets and 
I've been playing with these all afternoon. They haven't missed one yet. The magnets nail it every time. So the same kind of screen door in the back, but this one has a little something extra. If you're inside, it's got like a tent flap where you can like roll this up. And let's say you wanted to, to, you know, zip it up and then you've still got screen on the top. So now on most uh, Travados, the bed is actually kind of down here. So you could like zip it up to there, still get fresh air on the top and you're asleep down here on the bottom. The other thing they've done, and this is specific to the Travado, is they've got this solid panel here and you can actually open it to access the underbed storage without having to disturb the screen that's in place on the rest of the thing. So they've really kind of thought things through. This is a fan, it's, it's no CM netting. It's not just like screen like you'd have on a screen door. It's this really fine mesh, 20 threads per inch or something like that. And it's fire retardant. They really have thought everything. So rvcustomstream.com, that's where you want to go. That'll get you there and you can order one. Now, I've been talking to them and if you can get like six, eight people together, maybe at a rally or something, they would consider coming to install them for you. So that's something to think about. Anyway, I'm super excited about this screen. Looking forward to getting on the road with it. And I think that's gonna do it for now. We'll see you later, bye.